Hey everybody, Pammy J here, and I'm going to do a little mail call. Actually, I'm going to do a pretty big mail call. I'm so excited. Come along with me. Go on a little journey here. This is from Bruce North of From Badlands 44. Check this out. I think it is so cool. Look. You got to check out this penny. At first, I thought it was an error. But then I look closer, and he put his logo on the penny. Can you see it? I can see it. It's really, really cool. It looks just like this. See, it's by the date. I know you can see it. It's really cool. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. And your sticker will be put up with the, with the other ones as soon as I find the appropriate place where I can always have it in, in view of the camera. When I get a camera that stays in one place, that is. Okay. This one's from JW. JW Coins and Hobbies. And um, I'll be perfectly honest with you folks. I don't know why or how. If I won this, or if he's just sending them to me, or it might have happened on Michael Kittle's live stream. I'm very confused, but we're going to see what's in here. I know it's pennies. We've got, let's see, I'll turn them all right side up. And I got my magnifier right here, so I don't have to go too far out. There's 44, and another 44, and, uh... That one's hard to see. How about I put it in front of the camera? It'll be easier for me to see. This one's a... Alright, so I gotta go in the light. Another 44, but that's a D. There's a bunch of them in here. I'm so psyched. Thank you, JW. Whoa, wait a minute. It's not just pennies. What the heck? Okay, folks. Either I... I dreamt this. I... I bought it. I think he's just being a nice man. I'm telling you what. That's a 57. Look at this. That would be a 19. Whoa. A very old Roosevelt dime. 1947. Look at that. I don't remember winning it. But I am very grateful. This is really cool. I think there's another one. JW, you're going to have to let me know. I love it. I mean, keep those cards and letters coming. But I'm, I'm baffled a little bit. That's all right, though. This is a 62. This is very pretty. Okay, I know. I'm all excited now, so my hands aren't staying still, so things aren't going to focus. Yeah, it's not too bad. Look at that. Thank you so much. Let me see the rest of these dates here. We have a, a 60. Okay, I better use this so I get it right. A 42. Wow. And uh, another 44. I got to check these out closely. I didn't realize there was so many in here. And a 57D. Oh, that looks rather thick there. Yeah, thank you so much, JW. I'm enjoying this. I didn't even realize there was so much in there. That's really, really kind of you. Okay, next on the hit parade is Justin Preet from Mad Hatter Prox Prospecting. See, that's his. I love this thing. The first part says, uh, follow the fever. And then there's a picture of a dude stomping on his hat. And then... Uh, there's the, like, the little, uh, like a YouTube camera. I think it's adorable. Listen, Justin, I gotta tell you something. I want one of those bags of dirt with the gems and the gold and the silver. But I, what I really want is that little shovel. It's adorable. So I'm gonna be checking out all your giveaways and stuff because I'm gonna get me one of those. I think it's great. Look at this. This is, oh, it's a one-tenth 
of an ounce round. I thought it was just a mark. No, it's a, in this style, it's a .999 silver mercury style. Wow, thanks, Justin. Very nice. And it says, I hope you don't mind if I read this. Well, I'll keep it to myself, but it's very nice. And he's thanking me for my pennies, and now I'm thanking him for his. Well, it's not a penny, but very nice. Thank you so much. And that's Mad Hatter's Prospecting. That's Justin's. He's a great guy. Him and I are kind of, we're sort of starting out at the same rate. I think we're pretty neck and neck with our, with our channels. And we're helping each other out as much as we can. So, our next on the hit parade comes from, where's that other envelope? I know it's here. Wait a minute. Hang on. Here we go. This is from Bill Driscoll. Right? Yes, it is. There wasn't a sticker, but, oh, look at this. We got pennies. They're wrapped up in cellophane here. Ooh. Ooh, I know one of them's from the Bahamas or from Bermuda because it's got a starfish on it. I had one of those at one time, and I gave it to Tiny Numismatics. I gave it to his daughter, Zoe. All the coins I get that have animals on it, I give them to Zoe because she's such a cute little girl and she's learning so much about coins. She's grown up too fast. We got to keep her young. <laughs> right, Tiny? Tiny Numismatics. You guys know who that is, right? Look at that. That's got starfish on there. That is from the Bahamas. I was right. Front. That's a pretty coin. Thank you, Bill. What else is in here? I'm loving this. This is like Christmas morning. It's better. It's better than Christmas morning. Because I don't have to clean up the wrapping paper or cook the rest of the day. No, I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. This is more fun. Wow. Where is this from? This is from... Wow, this is really cool looking. Where did I put my thingy? There it is. Is this the one you were telling me about? The... Oh, this is from Barbados. It's got the trident on one side. I'm not sure which direction they go. Up or down. See? And this side is, I guess, the the island's um, seal. I don't know. Is Barbados a country? No. Is it? That's a good question, huh? It's probably part of the Virgin Islands or the Bahamas. Um, I've been there. Been to Barbados. I've been to Antigua. Been to St. John. St. Thomas. And they're all part of the U.S. Virgin Islands, I believe. Oh, boy. You know, I should really prepare myself for the geography, for the, the coins and the countries. I'm so worried about insulting a country or getting it wrong. I don't want the queen to be mad at me or anything, you know? So, this one's a little difficult to open. We're going to get a little creative here. Oh, it's a U.S. penny, I'm pretty sure. Boy, Bill, you got these wrapped up good. All right. No, this is another one from Barbados because I see the trident. Wow. This one got some shine to it, too. These are really pretty. And the trident's on the back. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oop, oop, I almost missed one. This is a little one. This is... Ooh. This is... A... 74. Why can't I read it? From... Oh, is this a Fennig? One... Yes, it is. I'm excited. Because 
the pennies that I had, unfortunately, I had to sell off a lot of my coins about a year ago. And this is the first one I've gotten back. It's one penny. Thank you so much. Very nice. I thought I recognized that. Nah, I can't get it in right because I don't have the light right. I try to make it so that everything would come in focus. But they're all different sizes, so that's a little hard to do. Okay, I did that. Okay, this is from JB Coins, my family. This, I know I won this. I won this last week. Uh, look at this. 2004 Gold Edition State Quarter Collection. How cool is that? Talk about a nice giveaway. Okay, we'll do the front first. They're gold. I never had gold coins before. Well, I know they're just gold plated, but they're awfully pretty. They're Denver's. They're all Denver, yeah. And there's Michigan, Texas, Florida, Iowa, and Wisconsin. I wonder if it's got an error on it. I doubt it, but I'll check it out. Very nice. And there's more. That's not all. I had a, a very good run there, <laughs> I guess. Because I know the last package I got from J&B was, was heavy also. This is, wow. Look at this. This is too nice. My dog doesn't like the fact that I put some of these envelopes on her spot on the couch over here. She almost looked like she was going to knock it off the edge and I would have knocked her on the nose. Don't do that, babe. Don't scratch nothing. Okay. I know this is boring for you while I'm trying to get these open, but look at all these. Dee -dee -dee. We got a 69D. Look at these. They're beautiful. Not a scratch on them. 69D. We got a 64. That would be 90, I believe. 66. That's 40, right? 69D. They're all beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And a 68D. And I know there's something else in that bag because it, I felt it move. What is it? What is this? Oh, a couple of Nipsies. There's a 2007 and a, hmm, uh, come on out. It's one of them teeny tiny bags. Look at that. Boy, nice shape, too. That's a 2007. That's really nice. Holy motors. And a 2006. Holy, they're awfully pretty. Like, I gotta be careful, put them in something right away so I don't scratch them up. And now, here's another big one. This is from, uh, nope, wrong one. This one's from Michael Kittle. Where's his thing here? Wait a minute. I had it here. Oh, there it is. Michael Kittle, Rare Coins. That's a cool sticker. I'm still up in the air about a sticker for myself. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know, jinx anything by making one too soon or, because everything is going so well. And I can't make up my mind. I have a hard enough time deciding what I want to eat, you know. Look at this. 2009 BDB and it's toned. He didn't mention that when I got it. But look at the back. We got some color. How pretty is that? That's really nice. I really am happy to have it. Absolutely. Thank you, Michael Kittle. Now, next on the hit parade, we have... Where'd I put it? Oh, right here. Keepsake coins. 
Now, this cracks me up. I know he's supposed to be cheapskate, but his sticker isn't a sticker. I don't think, unless it's a tattoo, one of them, uh, the ones you lick and put on, but it's just a piece of paper. It cracked me up. I said, well, <laughs> I guess it's, you know, a play on cheapskate. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't think it's a tattoo. I think it's just not a sticker. But I like it. It's a walking lady, and that's always good in my book. And I got... Now, one of these was a gift from a very dear friend. He bought it for me during this auction. I was... I cried for a day and a half. It was like a religious experience. He, you had to be there, but there was some scripture mentioned and a coin from the Bible was we bought. Not this one, but this one I got. This one I got in the auction. Look at that. It's from the um from the hunting club. Let me read it correctly so I don't get myself in trouble again. It's from the NAHC. It's a collector's medallion. It's the series of the black bear. And the, that stands for um, North American Hunting Club. Game Collector Series. Look at this thing. It is heavy. It's got eagle on the front there or on the back. Look at that bear. Is he not beautiful? I love that thing. That's very nice. And this was a gift from my friend Ramon. This is, if I can get in clear, 1875. Seated dime. Look at that. It's in good shape. I mean, it's, well, it's old. 1875, very old. <laughs> But I, I was, happened to run into him at the auction, and he said, "Pammy J, that's for you. That's a a late Christmas gift. That man is the, so generous. Always has been. But he just, like I said, it was like a religious experience that night. Okay, what else is in this goodie bag? I know I bought some, some containers and stuff, you know. Stuff, but I think I'm pretty sure this is a roll." Oh, I got bubble wrap and everything. I know, I appreciate the coins being taken care of during shipping, but sometimes it's crazy trying to get into them. Come on. I should have bought my scissors in here with me, but we got it. I feel like I'm causing damage. It's just the bubbles popping. I know it's a roll. I believe it's a roll of 1960 pennies, but I won't know till I get in here. Let me see. Cheapskate has some great auctions. The last time I got that um that bank token, the one that was minted at the bank, the one that has a dragon on it that I didn't know had a dragon on it. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, who told me about that? Oh, that was Alfred R. He hooked me up with some information on coins that just blew me away. It was great. That's why I had to do a second foreign coin video. Foreign coin video. Because he, he really, I couldn't believe it. It was like right out of a dictionary or something. He explained what everything was and why it was on there and why the certain coins were minted. I was thrilled to receive that info. Let me tell you. Yep, I had to do a whole nother video. I did a do-over. Okay, I was right. These are 1960Ds. Be you. Seal bro. Love it. They look nice and shiny. I can't wait to get into it. I have a chore tonight. Well, I'm going to see JB, but I'm going to open, well, this here is, these are 59s, the rest of the roll. I mean, there's not even a scratch on the tube. These are definitely beautiful. I've seen a few of them. 
I love them. And those, and where's the other ones I was going to open tonight? Oh, oh, 74s. They look pretty too. So I got a full night ahead of me. But first I'm going to take care of all these coins that came to me from all these great people. I'm get get them put away so I don't cause them any damage. I've been known to do that. So, and thanks for tuning in, guys. I know it was a long video, but boy, was it worth it. The rest of this stuff from um, Keepskate, I got a bunch of just holders, you know, stuff to put my stuff in. But everybody is so kind and generous, and I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And this is Pammy J, and I'm out.